Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Report's news briefing for Thursday the 6th of December, the local media headlines today. The chances of any sports stadium being built at Truro with taxpayers' money have certainly not been enhanced by the release of a letter from the Treasury. It strikes a very different tone to the notes of optimism which have been coming from Cornwall Council and some of Cornwall's MPs in recent months. The Treasury letter is available on Cornwall Reports and while it doesn't say no, it certainly doesn't give any reason for thinking that central government is about to step in with £3 million. It calls for a more robust business plan which is at odds with the simple keep the faith attitude at County Hall. Cornwall Reports has also been digging into the detail of how all six of Cornwall's MPs voted against a ban on 50 calibre sniper rifles. It turns out that the Truro and Falmouth MP Sarah Newton, who is also a Home Office Minister, had earlier been one of those in favour of a ban. We've asked for an explanation of her U-turn. And Cornwall Reports has helpfully been drawing attention to the financial difficulties facing the construction firm Keir, who, we're sure, will complete the £20 million refurbishment of the hall for Cornwall on budget and on time. Pirate FM was among those to report a shelter press release warning that around 260 children will be homeless in Cornwall this Christmas. The figure is based on government statistics and underlines the continuing crisis in the provision of emergency accommodation. The Cornish Times promotes the Loo Churches Together initiative to help people share a Christmas meal. The Cornish and Devon Post reports declining interest in retail development in Launceston. And finally, Cornwall Live tells us that it can be wet and windy in December. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thanks very much for watching. Do please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye-bye.